Okay, moving along, we are going to talk about views. And views is where we will store a lot of our HTML and a lot of the content that we are going to display to our user. So we have our models which interact with our database. We have our controllers which contain a lot of our application logic. And we have our routes which contain our application URLs. And then we have our views which contain a lot of the design and HTML that will dis be displayed for the user. So let's go ahead and open up our example application and let's go to app HTTP routes and inside of here let's go ahead and create a new route and as you can see inside of our routes we actually have a lot of data which is a little too much we probably don't want to have all of the this logic in here and all of this echoing out we usually just want to have our routes.php be the file that tells our application where to go for a specific route you can see that this file could get really messy so normally we would store a lot of this inside of a controller and then we would pass it to a view but in this video we're just going to go over views and we will be going over controllers in the next couple videos but for now let's say we have route get my page we probably wouldn't want to say HTML and head and title And yes, we could always do this. Hello there. Echo. And let's close our HTML page. So now if we go to localhost 8000 slash my page, then we get our HTML page here. And that's not a very good way of doing all of our views inside of our routes. So instead, what we want to do is we want to return a view. And this is where we will store a lot of our HTML and our design. So we could say return view my page. And we could then go into our resources views folder and create a new file called mypage.php. So I could create a blank HTML page in here and give it a header. And if I save this and reload, then sure enough, the route says to return our view and it loads up this file that we have in front of us. So you can see that it really is a way of separating a lot of where we put the design and the HTML of our files and it'll make your application a lot more manageable. And let's say that we wanted to pass some data to this view. How might we do that? We could always, you know, open up PHP and say customers equals app slash customer. We can do a lot of our logic in our views, but we don't want to do that. What we want to do instead is we want to do a lot of our logic inside of our controllers. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do it inside of my route. And then we want to pass our data to our view. So we want to separate where we handle our data and then where we display our data. So when we display our data, that will typically be inside of our view. So let's go ahead and get all of our customers. And let's go ahead and create a data object. And we could create an array. And we could pass as much data as we would like to our, to our view. So we will say customers. It's going to refer to our customers variable. And what I will do is I will say return view. And I will say which view file it is. And then I will also pass in the data array. So I will save that. And now if I go into my page, what I can do is I could use that data. So I could create a new header and say customers. And then I could do a for each customers as customer. And then I could print out each customer name. And then I want to end my for each and save that and reload the page. And sure enough, we get welcome to my page customers. And then we display the customers on the page. And you can see that this is just a great way of organizing our application. And we can have all, all of our views inside of our resources views folder. So we can easily change out the way that our app looks and 
the way that the user interacts with it. And in the next video, we will be going over blade templating, which is a way of using this templating library inside of our views. Uh, just stick around. I think you'll really like it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.